What's up, everyone? Eric with Ham Radio Concepts, KJ4YZI. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to stay up to date with the videos and learn a lot about this vast hobby. Also, like and share on Facebook.com slash Ham Radio Concepts. We're going to talk a little bit, a few minutes here, on 30 meters, specifically to the people that said, well, what, what happens on 30 meters? Why do I never go to 30 meters? Well, that's a good question. We'll show you what's going on at 30 meters and why I think it's a perfect band for several reasons and why a lot of people should take advantage of one of these bands. If I go there right now at this time at night on my radio, I'm going to hear this right here. They're just pouring in. It's booked. Now, let me tell you about 30 meters real quick. It is one of the work bands from the World Administrative Radio Conference. The work bands are 30 meters, 17 meters, and 12 meters. And these three bands are some of my favorite because they're contest free. You cannot have a contest on any of those three bands. However, 30 meters does not allow phone. It's, it's, it's rated at, uh, it's limited to 200 watts peak envelope power. No phone, but you can use CW and uh, plenty of digital modes, even APRS on 30 meters. Now, 30 meters goes 10.100 to 10.150 megahertz and no broadcast interference like 40 meters, although the propagation is similar. Daytime range of some contacts are a uh, of over a thousand miles are, are quite common. But right now, at this time at 8.47 p.m., it's just booked. And it's, it's like a hidden gem. I was talking to some guys tonight that said, man, I wish the bands were in better shape. They're having a tough time making contacts. But talking back to a, a, a topic that I swear on, you know, you can't look at something like this. This is telling me 30 meters and 20 meters are poor during the day and night. However, I'm getting the strongest signals on 30 meters right now than I am anywhere from 160 to 6 meters. There is nothing that is pouring in like 30 meters right now. So if I go to 10, 12, uh, 17, 20, 40, it's just all white noise, okay? There's really nothing really going on. A few 20 stations, but you gotta get out there and look on the bands. Don't just wake up in the morning and say, yep, not a good day to watch or to get on the radio. Some really strong signals coming in on 30 meters tonight on FT8. This is 10.136 using the J WSJTX software for FT8 mode. And uh, 10 megahertz, looks like there is plenty of people calling CQ and plenty of digital contacts tonight. Um, here is a map I usually frequent, the DX maps, and this is only people that are reporting spots. But you can see that there is some DX on here on the digital and CW modes. Now, looking at the list, I see all CW. But as you just saw, there's a lot of FT8 on there. FT8 resides about 10.136 megahertz and uh, JT65 just above that. So 30 meters is a little hidden gem. A lot of antennas do come with 30 and a lot of people uh, have wires up that will tune on 30. Sometimes you have a wire that's just difficult to tune on 30 meters, but uh, I'm using the high gain AV680. Right now I'm watching the lightning outside, so I better unplug it. However, uh, that's got a radiating stub for each band, so I don't even need a tuner. I don't use a tuner on my desk at this time. I could do nine bands. They're all tuned how I tune them for different portions on the antenna, and um, I'm at a 1.2 to 1 on 30 meters, so really good. And um, looking at 30 meters at a glance from this site I pulled up here um, shows some of the things you can find on 30 meters. Now, FTA's not on here yet, but you'll see Olivia, you'll see Hellschreiber, you'll see uh, Slow Scan TV, a lot of CW in the bottom portion, a lot of, uh, there's Whisper on here, there's even APRS, MFSK, and more. So there's a lot of places to operate CW and digital other than 20 meters. So 30 meters, being that it's quiet, not a lot of people get on there, the noise is usually down, I don't have a lot of noise on here, uh, no broadcast interference, the range is there. And, um, you know, a quite popular band at this time, I, I guess um, this digital report right here would be FT8 because they don't have an FT8 designator on here. Um, but you can see some of the distance of contacts here. So I can guarantee that if I go out QRP portable, even at this time at night, 
on 30 meters. Uh, I can make some CW on QRP 5 watts, also digital modes, um, right here on 30 with even the modest antenna. To show propagation plus the efficiency of this FT8 digital mode, I disconnected my antenna because of a lightning storm during this video. And if you look, I'm still getting one person calling CQ here on digital 30 meters with a three foot jumper plugged into my radio laying on my desk. It's not even connected to the antenna and I'm still getting W9RF calling CQ on a three foot jumper off the back of my radio. That is efficient. So again, talking about digital modes, yes, it's not for everybody, but for those who are just making contacts any way they can, this is a hidden gem right here. For a lot of people that don't know, they say, oh, 30 meters, that's like 60. We just don't go there. Well, 60 is a little bit more, it's a little bit different than this. There's not a lot of activity on 60 from what I can hear monitoring every day. However, uh, it takes a little different practicing on 60. 30 is wide open for you guys. General, advanced, extra class, uh, you can join in on 30 meters. The band conditions lately have been spectacular. I've posted a couple uh, updates on Facebook, how 30 was looking. And uh, I'm going to be making some uh, CW on here as well as FT8 while the, uh, the bands are hot on 30 tonight. So thanks for watching. Quick video on 30 meters. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you at least try it or check it out. Scroll to that frequency. Let me know what you hear and let me know what you have done or haven't done on 30 meters and why. 7-3. Look forward to other videos. Subscribe. And 7-3 from KJ4YZI.